today we are going to be looking at denial of service or a DOS attack. We are going to be learning in depth what it does and we are also going to be using a tool named LOIC which can inject millions of packets into any website you want. But before we start, just a disclaimer that this is a very illegal tool if you use it on somebody else's website. So please do it at your home, use this video for educational purposes and try not harming anybody else. But besides that, let's start hacking. So before we get into the practical, I will be showing you how a DOS attack actually works. So if you know all this, you can just script to the practical version. I leave the timestamps in the description below. So here, let's say we have a victim. All right. This is the website that we want to hack. It's www.something.com here and this is the attacker all right this is our vicious computer and we want to hack this website now what a device attack does like normal people visit you know a single website they generate some traffic on that website and if that traffic is too much that website crashes sometimes you might know this if you are familiar with uh, example of iit je results they come into their website and once they are released thousands of people log into the same website generating more traffic on it thus causing it to crash now here we have our hacker all right we have a hacker right here and this guy is trying to hack this website now what it will do it will generate random packets and it will start firing onto this website all right now the hacker is not able to generate as many requests because these websites are actually very powerful and are immune to dos but if this hacker is not able to do so we can create a second hacker all right this guy right here is a second hacker and this is the third one so like this a hacker generates teams of its own i'm sorry this computer is looking too bad uh all right so this one okay so these two hackers join in on this and they also start firing at this website so this website is getting targeted by three people actually so to prevent this what websites do they try to create a more resisting uh, website so that they can handle more requests on it because Amazon websites like Amazon and Netflix thousands millions of people are logging it on it to every single second so they have very powerful websites and as soon as a DOS or DDoS attack is happening on them they try to prevent it as fast as possible so now let's go on to the fun stuff let's move on to the practical and let's see how it works okay so right here I'm in my Kali Linux machine if you are in Windows it's better for you or in Mac you have to just follow the same process now to download uh, this tool what we have to do first we'll be going to our uh, firefox or any browser that you have in car linux if you have you will be having firefox installed now here i'm just going to type loic all right this is the tool that we are going to use the a source force page will be coming up uh, you can click on that and here it will be it will be showing that malware detected but it does not matter because you are on your car linux machine even if you are on your host machine this does not have any harm to your system and you can just click download and you will download this file right here which is i'm having that file in my downloads so if I open files, downloads, you will be downloading loic binary.zip. If you open this file, what you'll find inside is loic.exe. You can extract it. I've already done that. And I have my exe file right here. Now, if you are in a Mac or Linux machine, the exe file won't be working for you. But if you are on a Windows machine, you can fire up exe just like that. But for those who are on Mac or Linux, you can go on your terminal and you can install a tool. So for doing that, I'll just increase the size. So you have to type sudo app get installed mono no complete you press enter password and i already have it installed but for you it will ask for some permissions and then you can install it and after that what you have to do after you have installed mono you have to go on the directory which has that exe file so for me it's in my downloads and uh you can find the file okay it's right here loic.exe now i'll type in mono now this will be coming as a known command because it is showing in blue and loic.exe as soon as i press enter it will open this graphical user interface of loic and now I'll show you how to use it. So it's very simple how to use it. But first we have to set a target because we won't be targeting anybody else's website because that's very illegal. So to make this thing work, we have to find the target or we have to make a target of ourselves that we can take down. To do that, what we can do, we can uh, go on a terminal again and here we can open a new tab. In here we can open a server using ngrock. To do that, all you have to do is sudo slash etc inet.d apache to start. So 
if you are in a Kali Linux machine or any Linux machine, Apache 2 will already be installed. Or if you are working on a Mac or Linux and you want a target, either you can host the Linux machine as a target and then you can take it down. Or if you don't have access to that, you can take NGROC. NGROC is a very popular tool. It is known for hosting web servers. And as soon as you install NGROC, there will be an option to NGROC start a local server and it will start a server for you and you can take it down. Press enter, write a password and it has started our Apache server. Now to check it if it started or not, we can go right here and we can type 192.168.0.174 else so change because that's the ip of my kali if you don't know your ip you can go on if config and i have my wlan 0 connected right here this is my ip as you can see inet 192.168.0.174 now here i have my server running now what i have to do with loic I, I just have to take it down to do that i'll first specify the ip you can specify the url as well any url of any website or any ip so for me 192.168.0.174 and then you lock the dog all right so it's armed right now and you can either use any of these methods to flood packets in it. Alright, so I explained it before how this thing works. Now you can use TCP packets, UDP packets and HTTP packets. TCP packets are a bit reliable. What TCP does, it sends the request to any server and then it waits for the reply. It does something called a three-way handshake. And if you're if you're using UDP, it will just throw packets to that website. It won't care for an acknowledgement or it won't care for a reply. If you are using HTTP, it will send packets through the HTTP service. And if you want, you can use Wireshark to inspect all these packets that are leaving my server and reaching the actual network. Now, what I'm trying to do, I've hosted a server and I'm trying to take it down with this LOIC. So I've logged the target. I'll be using TCP and I'll be changing the threads to a thousand and we want it faster and you can just change any line so once it takes the website down it is asking for any line so you can write you have been hacked so after the website is hacked it will show this it will show this prompt to it all right now you have to click on that very weird looking string there and it will start as you can see it is already on somewhere around three million packets so in five seconds it has sent three million packets to the website now these web servers are pretty strong so what they do they have a very strong encryption service against DOS attacks but it's very easy to do it you can even do it to any website because the, these packets are basically normal packets so the website will think a normal user is uh, trying to access the website or do something like that so if you actually want to damage the website you can do it under 10 seconds but you need a huge fleet you can either have computers of your own or you can even have one machine and you, have, you can have virtual machines running on it if it's a very strong computer or you can team up with other people and then you can try to attack just one website and then it will take less than 20 seconds if you are using this tool. Now as you can see this is getting a bit slow so to speed it up if I try to reload this page it will take some time to reload because it is being flooded with so many requests it cannot comprehend itself right so it's somewhere around 27 million right now 28 million 29 so as you can see in you know in half a second or one second it is sending a million packets into the server so just imagine the state of the server right now right so that's what this tool does it tries to take down that website now I don't know if this website will crash right now but as you can see it is getting very slow as soon as I press reload as you can see it is working really slow right it is taking a lot of time to reload now I'll show you if I stop this I stop Stop the flooding all right as you can see how smooth it got now if i reload this page as you can see it is not even taking one second to reload and again if i start this all right just a bit so we are on 14 million right now so and then if we try to reload it as you can see it is taking some time to reload so it gets the website slow so if you are in india or if you are in you know any part of the country you might have some examinations that the full country is after so in india it is iit all right so there is all the iit results one once it comes it gets hosted onto a website so once the result is posted you know millions of people come to that website and sometimes that website crashes because of over traffic on that website so the same thing is happening right here but these are not real users these are users that only one machine is producing just wonder how you know thousands of machines can do to a website they can take the website down in half a second if you have thousands of machines and you are doing the same attack on all of them so thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you are a fan of bug bounty, penetration testing, ethical hacking and all this stuff, just be sure to click subscribe down there. And I hope you got something out of this one. Thank you and I'll see you next time.